Here's a 1985 Archer Color Supreme 5 television and FM radio amplified antenna. Picked this up in a state sale for a couple bucks recently. Just because I like the looks of it, although I don't really use antennas much. This one um, has a 12 position fine tuning switch. Normal and boost. Boost, I think, adds 12 decibels. You can rotate it up to 90 degrees either way. It's a really a kind of a big thing. It has these little doohickeys here that slide up and down the antennas. I'm not sure what they're for. I'm just going to leave them at the bottom. A little experimenting. I don't know what they do. Um, this has a you can rotate it without moving the whole unit which I suppose back in the day when this was sitting on your nice expensive wood console that would have been a good thing all plastic simulated walnut grain of course being 1985 DC port and your normal leads and here's the page from the catalog the 1985 Radio Shack catalog our best Color Supreme 5 amplified UHF VHF FM new for 85 $39.95 up to 12 dB amplification for high quality reception. Sharpens color in black and white. Cleans up FM stereo. 12 position fine tuning and rotary antenna knob adjust for best reception. Loop with deflector reflector optimizes UHF. Normal slash boost switch prevents overload. 15, 18, 30. Well, I thought we'd hook it up and then maybe compare it to the RCA XL100s from 1978's own antenna and see what we get. All right, we have our Color Supreme 5 hooked up to the digital to analog converter box. Let's go through the channels and see how many we get and uh, see if the boost or fine tuning helps anything with bad pixelation. I don't know if it would even work with digital signals. I'm not sure the electronics would work on that boost. But we'll find out. Okay. Anything there or not? Boost. No program. Maybe that means it's. No. There's something there. But not much. It's on boost right now. 
trying a couple of fine-tuning selections. No matter what. And also working at the Take boost off. I... Well, boost might have some effect. Go on to the next channel. Nothing there. Let's hit boost. Audio only. Okay. Let's take the boost off. No program. Boost back on. Try the fine tuning there. Boost off. I don't know if either of those is really having any effect. It's probably just the status of the digital transmission. So we're back where we started. All right, well, let's hook up the RCA's own antenna to the DTA box and see how that does. All right, we have the XL100's own antennas plugged into the converter box now. Let's see if there's any difference. Was the fancy antenna any better? So far I think everything's the same. Did I get that in the last one? I'm not sure I did. I didn't get that one very well on the other one either. That's the one I didn't really get on the last one either. So we're back to where we started. Well, that's the Color Supreme 5 antenna from 1985 from Archer and Radio Shack. Other than two channels that I was able to barely get using the boost feature on this, but not really enough to watch and not any two channels I'd want to watch. Other than that, the XL100's own antennas did as good of a job as this so much more convenient to use those than something like this so this will be just a display item got a nice shelf to put it on it does look cool either way nice looks to it so hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching bye